It's the JA Lightning Round. Are you ready? You set? I'm ready. I'm Here ready. we go. How many people do you know, other people named Steve Jones? Zero. Really? Uh, personally? Yeah. I, I know zero personally. On a personal yeah. level, I know zero. How many did you know? Uh, I need, I know Steve Jones, Steve Snapper Jones, that, that played in the ABA, oh, yeah. right? Uh, the uh, NBC's basketball guy for a long time. And I know Steve Jones, uh, the runner, the marathon runner okay. that won London and yes. New York. I don't think he maybe won Chicago. I don't remember. So there's a lot of them out there. You can't keep up with this, Steve. This this <laughs> stuff just <laughs> lives in there. It, it, it is impressive. Your your memory, John, is unbelievable. How about this? You. Do you know anybody named Kimberly? Uh, my sister in law. There is you go, Kimberly. Okay. All right, good. So we'll check that off. I yeah. like that. <laughs> uh, give me your favorite offensive play call. Uh, King right, power right. And what is that going to? That sounds like I'm just handing it off and matching people. <laughs> Basically, yep. Yeah. It's a it's a you know base gap scheme. Uh, down down down. Kick out. Wrap with the guard. Uh, but that was foundationally what our, our offense was built on, uh, gap scheme. And, and we really believed in high school football, Wisconsin, you got to be able to run the ball in, in November if you're going to win a championship. So that was our base base play. And how many times did we run that play? Oh. I mean, I realize we can mess up formations and all those other things and dress yeah. up and look different. But how many times did I run that uh, on a Friday? Um, I would say at least 15 to 20 times uh, you would run it. And we, and we got in drives where if we got that thing humming, we would call it four or five, six times in a row. Just until you can stop it. Uh, yep. Give me your favorite NFL player. Anytime, Ooh. mostly as a kid. I don't need it today. Uh, I'd go with Jerry Rice growing up. Okay. Like him. How about a Packer? Oof. Jordy Nelson. Very good. Uh, well, this falls in. Who is the fastest kid in your neighborhood? Um, I'd go with Pat Von Felt, my best friend growing up. He was quick. I think so, yeah. From what I remember, I don't know if he, is, <laughs> if he was or not, but in my brain he was. That's, uh, I, yeah, wasn't, I, I was not very quick, John, so uh, okay. a lot of people were quicker than I was. Yeah, it doesn't have to be incendiary speed. I just want to – I, I figure I always <laughs> tell people when they think track and field, I'm like, everybody remembers who the fastest kid in their neighborhood was. Yeah. Trevor, who's the fastest kid in your neighborhood? Ryan Kaufman, without a doubt. Yeah, ours was Mark Hutter. It was just, yeah, you knew who the fastest kid was. Uh, if I give you a choice, hunt, fish, or golf? Golf. That's my man right there. You won five state championships of the four Green Bay public schools, West, Southwest, East, and Preble. How many state high school football championships do those four teams have? Zero. None. I think yeah. that is shocking that yeah. the city of Green Bay – with the Packers, has never had a state football champ. Any, or am I the only one that finds that absolutely? Have beautiful? they gotten close? Any of them over the years? Um, Southwest in the 11, I think in 2011, in the last decade has gotten to a semifinal a couple of times. Under Bryce Pop, I think. Yeah, I think Our they Packers. did. Um, like Ash Schwabenon's won them, right? Yeah. Deere, all those, but never the city proper. And back in the old Wissa days, right, when the Catholic schools had enough that they played separately. Premontre won some, but none that were uh, uh, none since then that I that I am uh, I'm aware of. Uh, OK, whistling straight. Since you brought it up, this is the last thing I ask. Uh, how'd you play? I know you lost the best ball, but how'd you play? <laughs> uh, consistently inconsistent. So as Coach LaFleur said, um, he has never found a really great coach that's also a great golfer. So. Uh, I'm going to take that and uh, run with that. So I'll lose that uh, excuse here in about a year, but um, that's what I'm going to lean on for the last, uh, you know, 20 years.